Hey guys, Real 111T. This is sort of an impromptu video that I'm making. Um, I was on eBay surfing around looking at stoves and uh, I came across a listing. Um, the seller described the stove as an 8R, but it really looked like it's a, it's a 111, specifically a 111B. Uh, and I sent the seller a comment and they responded, you know, thanks for the information. Um, how can you tell? So rather than trying to put it all into words, I thought I would make a video because a video is worth a million words, I guess. A picture is worth a thousand words. Anyway, here we have a couple different stoves. I don't personally own a 111B, but this is the closest thing I have. This is an Optimus 111, and this is an 8R. So the first thing you notice, they both have these steel boxes, hinged boxes, but the 111 is much larger, okay? Um, and then the 8R, I mean, it's it, it like fits right in the palm of your hand. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have inside. Okay, well, should have looked at this. Got one of these fancy, mine has this fancy cap on it. But really, this burner, okay, on an 8R is exactly the same burner that you have on your 123R or your 99. This is really what this would look like. It's, it's, these two are essentially exactly the same thing, just with a, a slightly different case, okay? And what these are, these are uh, known as gasoline stoves, all three of these. This one, this one, and this one, okay? They're gasoline stoves. They call them gasoline. I personally would recommend using white gas, Coleman fuel, crown fuel in them, okay? And they are self-pressurizing. You'll notice that one of the characteristics, you've got a small tank here. It does not have a pump. There's an accessory pump you can get for all three of these where you replace this cap, um, which is just a, on this one, it's just a pressure release, uh, emergency pressure release valve. But uh, uh, when you get the pump through ones, um, it, it is a pressure release valve, plus you can pump pressure into it. It's not necessary in most conditions for a stove like this because the fuel itself will build pressure. So you light it up to prime it, and it'll build pressure up, okay? So now let's take a look at what we got in here. Now this is the 111 model, not the 111B. So this one is the one that's designed for kerosene, okay? This is the first one in the series. And this one has, it's got a pump built into it, okay? And then the burner is gonna be of this type, and I'm gonna remove these two pieces. The seller didn't have, is their, uh, copy is missing these you could probably get by without this um, shroud But this uh, this ring whoever picks it up is gonna have to get their hands on one of these and they're not too hard to get But let's take a look at the burner in this because this is this burner is altogether something different Okay, where with with this burner Essentially let me Pull this off here. All you have is a jet and a burner bell, okay? So you got a flame spreader and this burner bell. It's just, it's metal, it's two pieces, okay? And this is actually interchangeable on all three of these. You could, you could uh, interchange them, okay? The 111 is more of a traditional um, sootless kerosene burner type. Now, you'll notice there's a difference here between what the seller has and what I have here. This, the 111 burner has four tubes, okay? And this is necessary um, to build heat up to vaporize kerosene. The 111B only has two tubes, okay? And then what happens is the fuel will flow down through these tubes up into this middle part here. And so when the stove is lit, the flame is essentially spreading on part of the thermal feedback system. So this will be... Um, cooled by fuel when when this is all in place what you'll find is is this ring will glow but this part will not and the reason is is because it's going to be full of fuel that's being heated up okay so and that works the same on the b and the the basic 111 model the difference is because this one is designed for kerosene it has to have more tubes more surface area for the fuel but because white gas and the 111 b the b stands for benzene Okay, which is basically the Swedish word for um, gasoline, I guess. 
Um, so uh, the 111B with the two tubes, not four, okay? If you look at this, you'll notice this is different than the one in the listing, okay? This has four tubes, and the one in the listing only has two, okay? And that is really how you can... Uh, you can determine that that is a 111B burner, okay? So it, in essence, it does something very similar. It's it's like a, a big brother to the to the 8R. The 8R is a gasoline only stove, and the 111B is a gasoline only stove. It's just a little bit on the larger side. This one is designed maybe for backpacking for one or two people, and this is more of an expedition type stove for uh, really tough conditions. Uh, people use them, outfitters use them for canoe camping and stuff like that. And uh, the 111s are really a, a workhorse. So, um, I mean, the one in the listing seems like it could use some love, but it probably has some life left into it. Okay, but uh, I hope that answers the question as to what the difference is between uh, the 8R and the 111B by showing you the difference between an 8R and uh, uh, just a 111, okay? Uh, with a roar type burner. Then there's other variants of this that have a silent burner on them. Um, the 111T uh, has uh, ports and uh, it has an inner and outer cap. And then there's the 111C, which looks similar to the 111T, but the burner is physically smaller. And then uh, there's a very rare variant, the 111D, that was only uh, issued, I think, to some military units. And then there is... Um, the uh, the current hiker plus so if you look it's based on the optimus nova basically if you look at the current one that comes in a box because really the form factor of this is is something that's transcended time you know outfitters look for something that's built into a steel box backpackers not so much but uh if you're outfitting a group of hunters or uh you know backcountry travelers something like this is very durable okay and um and so they're much sought after uh, hope that answers your questions. Thanks a lot.